Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great, and welcome to this uh, new video on Fetch, your daily update. We'll do a bull run update or, or whatever you want to, um, or however you want to see this. As uh, we just got a, a minor bearish breakout, as you can see. In general, Fetch is still bullish, all right? I mean, Fetch, I basically do this fundamental talk every time, but I think AI and crypto are still very undervalued. I think Fetch is a great project. I think Fetch has also proven to be the strongest performer in AI, all right? So, so my, my long-term vision on Fetch is definitely still, I think, uh, some sort of a 10x from here. It's very much possible, right? So that makes it a 24 billion market cap. In a bull market uh, for an AI coin and the strongest AI coin, I would not say that that's completely out of line. So those are my long-term thoughts. But on the short term, I mean, what's true is that we just got the first technical bearish confirmation in quite a long time, right? Because what you can see is that even though that's that band, so that, that region between the 28 EMA and the 50 EMA, so between the blue and red line, that has basically held us up since the 6th of March, so for the last four days. Uh, before that, we consolidated a bit, but even but, but if we go further back, most of the time, we've been above that. Um, and now, this uh, we've broken below that, all right? So the, the last time that happened, we got into some sort of a consolidation. And in general, that is also what I think you need to be prepared for. Um, AI is obviously still amazing, and whenever there's some sort of a sudden development in it, we will definitely rally. But if you look uh, look at Fetch right now, and we and we dive into the numbers a bit more, it's been very bullish. Fundamentally, I'm still bullish on it. We could definitely continue going up, but you can also see that the open interest has fallen flat a bit, that it's struggling a bit with the levels around three dollars to to break above that, or at least to to retain enough momentum to break above that. We've seen some spot selling uh, earlier during the night because a lot of people and, and a lot of big whales are, are up a, sh a ton on their fetch, right? Um, so would I expect fetch to turn bearish? No, but I do think on, on, the, on the short term, and I do want to look at some numbers here as well so we actually get a full picture. I do think in general fetch fundamentally is still bullish, but I, I do think we'll consolidate a bit here. All right. Ultimately, what we want to see is some sort of a breakout above 3.1. Then we can continue up to 3.35. That would be my next price target. Do I expect that to happen eventually? Something like this? Yes. All right. Well, 3.4 3.5 would be my, my main price target. So do I ex expect that eventually uh, for sure? All right. Um, it's just that at, at this moment, especially also with what we saw from Bitcoin, Bitcoin is still bullish, but we can see the Bitcoin dominance going up a bit earlier this morning, at least. Um, so altogether, I think it is quite likely that Fetch will kind of consolidate here on top of 2.7. Um, we might spike down a bit lower towards 2.5 if we have a flush, but I don't expect those levels to hold. Um, I think we'll, we'll get higher from there. Um, and ultimately just consolidate and then eventually break above 3.1 and rally up higher. But I, I don't see much indication that we will break out today or tomorrow. So I'll keep you updated on that. And you should be prepared for that, of course. Uh, but at this moment, it seems most likely that we'll, we'll stick to that consolidation. But like I said, I mean, be prepared for those spikes, all right? Fetch will probably be very, very quick to recover. So if you're spot, it doesn't really matter. Um, but a spike like 25, 35% down is definitely a possibility. And that would bring us down, uh, well, all right, 25% down, maybe not. But we could spike down all the way to 2.25 and 2.4 if we really, you know, turn bearish for a moment. So be prepared for that. Ultimately still bullish. Not much to worry about, but those are my thoughts. So thank you for watching. Uh, take care and bye.